Hey everyone, all of these stories written published by Rodney Johnson Rodney's Publishing Today, we're diving into a story that reminds us just how quickly love can turn deadly. It's a tale of passion, betrayal and heartbreak. Grab your popcorn because this one's a roller coaster Jason and China high school sweethearts, the kind of couple everyone envied. They had it all, at least on the surface, but like any perfect facade, cracks began to appear. Sophie, China's friend, dropped a bombshell China had been unfaithful. Imagine Jason's world, everything he knew about their love, shattered. He started replaying their past, the fights, her controlling ways, his suspicions that he had buried deep. Despite the red flags, Jason stayed, blinded by love, memories came flooding back times where he felt neglected, controlled China's dismissive attitude, her constant complaints, his happiness, dwindling what once seemed unbreakable, now felt toxic. Then the breaking point Jason confronted, China. It all blew up in a heated argument. Anger and betrayal boiled over and Jason grabbed a gun. The tension skyrocketed, it turned deadly. The police arrived and the situation grew even more intense. Jason, in a desperate state, held China hostage. It was a heart-wrenching standoff. In the end, both Jason and China lost their lives, a tragic murder-suicide. This story is a cautionary tale, a reminder of how toxic relationships can spiral into devastating consequences. Jason and China once the epitome of young love left a legacy of heartbreak and unanswered questions. Love can be beautiful, but unchecked anger and despair can be deadly. Stay safe, and if you're ever in a toxic situation, seek help. Remember, there's always a way out. Thanks for watching. If you found this story compelling, don't forget to like, subscribe to Rodney's Publishing, or hit the Bell X profile link in my BioCash app link below for more intense tales. Until next time, stay safe and take care. For more short stories like these, look up books by Rodney Johnson, Crime Artist, Brain Boxing, and my latest Leave Room for Human Errors.